The UN has given some pretty dire projections of what's happening inside Afghanistan right now. More than a million children could die of malnutrition in the next year. Mm. The Taliban has still not allowed girls aged 12 and older to return to school. They may say something, but they're not doing it. There are videos of women being beaten in the streets to just demonstrating for their rights. I mean, isn't this proof that the Taliban has no intention of becoming a democratic government or any kind of government that protects human rights? Well, uh, there's no question that uh, uh, the Taliban have a different vision for Afghanistan. It's a vision of a more Islamic government uh, uh, than existed before, and there is obviously disputes about the interpretation uh, of uh, Islam. Little girls going to school? Well, I think there is a disagreement uh, inside the Taliban. That's why I think that uh, uh, we can't say all Talibs behave in the same way. There are factions inside it. Right now, for example, in uh, at least three or four provinces, uh, uh, high schools uh, for uh, girls have been opened. And they say the same will happen uh, as far as the rest of the country is concerned. And uh, we should hold them uh, to that, keep pressure on them. They want uh, um, assistance, they want uh, normalcy in relations, they want their uh, uh, monies of Afghanistan and the U.S. banks to be... Uh, unfrozen. Should uh, it have, be? Uh, we, I think uh, uh, we shouldn't uh, uh, do so without a clear understanding of what they will do in exchange for which what steps we are willing to take. And there has to be a time uh, uh, in that agreement. Uh, there has to be kind of a roadmap as to when they will do what and in response to that, what it is that we will do. I think that, that task is ahead of us.